Oh. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. All right, everybody's coming in now. How are you? How was your day today? Good day, bad day? A good day. I'm sorry, it was a good day today. Yes. <laughs> All right, good. All right, that's good. Let me see, we have Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. All right, everybody. Good evening, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Let me see, everybody's coming in. Hold on, let me check one thing here. All right. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's start. So remember yesterday we were practicing simple past, correct? Yes, teacher. We we're practicing the simple past and um, remember that the, the format of the question, that's the important part. Let me open the email. Ahorita abro el correo para, para. Pueden ver la pantalla, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No, 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 no yet. Ok, no yet, good. Ok, let me check here. And what about now? Yes, I do. All right, good. So let's do caught in the rush. We're going to do this part. So we're going to learn too many, too much, less, fewer, enough. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, let me check. Estamos en sección 1 y estaba en la 2. Sorry. Come on, open. Okay, so the knowledge check according to yesterday, remember? They said choose the best response to this question. Did, did is past, right? 
Did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Or no, she soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. What was the correct here? The second, second one. one. Second one. Second one. Okay, number yeah. two says, choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? When did you graduate? For example, the second one, I graduated in from college in 2005. Um, Alejandra, Milena, when did you graduate from high school? From high school and I graduated in, from college in 2030. 2000 what? 30, I think. <laughs> I don't know, 13? Thirteen. Uh, yes. Thirteen. I forget it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. 13. All right. Good. Oh, okay. Um, one thing, Alejandra. College. College is Estudio mm -hmm. Superior. At college in this year, two thousand twenty-one. Okay. Good. Yes. Yo sé que en español decimos colegio, pero un colegio okay. es una escuela it's privada. School. Uh -huh, it's a school. So, entonces. Realmente colegio en inglés es private school. Oh. Public school, okay. private school. Porque college es un técnico, es como tres años. Pues es superior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, good. So you graduated in, in 2013. Wow. Yes, from high school. From high school, good. Mm -hmm. All right, choose the uh, number three, it says. Choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. I grew up, I grew up, yes. So what, what is the question? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up or where you grew up? Where did you grow up? First the one. first one. All right, very good, the first one. So. Evelyn Mariela, where did you grow up? San Miguel. You grew I'm up in San, San Miguel. Miguel? Yes. Okay. In this moment, you're not in San Miguel. Oh, yes, you're in San Miguel. No, I'm from San Miguel, but I live in Santa Teca now. Oh, okay. Oh, because you work here, yes. Do you yes. live here with your family? No, my parents live in San Miguel. Oh, okay, so you visit your family in Saturday and Sunday. Very good. So number four, it says, choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. When did you begin to study English? When you begin to study English. Where did you begin to study English? What's the best answer here? The first one. The first one. The first one. Again. When did you remember? When did you the verb and the complement? All right, good. Next. So next, next, next. Number five, choose the best response to this question. Did you have a pet when you were a child? I have a pet named Robert, Roger. No, I did have a pet or yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I yes, did. I did. Mm -hmm. Meaning, la respuesta is yes, I did. No, I didn't is, remember yesterday, let's puse, what did you when did you, where did you, the verb and the complement? Mm -hmm. Si quitamos el what, when, where, y si usamos did you, it's a yes or no answer. Um, the example, 
Who is married? Is somebody married? Yes, teacher, I am married. Who is married? Carmen. Carmen is said. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, good. Did you have a party? Yes, I did. All right, good, very good. Um, oh, Evelyn, Mariela, you, you grew up in San Miguel, correct? Yes. You live in Santa Tecla. Yes. Did you have a boyfriend in San Miguel? No. No what? No, I, I don't. I, I didn't. See? So, no, I didn't. Yeah. Very good. Genaro. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Genaro, did you go, did you go to, let me see. <laughs> Where do you live, Genaro? In San Salvador, correct? Yes, I live in San Salvador. All right. Did you go to Cine Variedades? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, remember Cine Variedades, it was a... Um, sí, remember. Uh, yeah. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yes, it, yes. The, the original Chori's. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I say, did you go? Because Variedades doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Yeah. All right, so very good. Okay, we're good then. So let's see the next. All right, by the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense you seem to be. Additionally, you'll be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining when you were born, came to the United States. This English conversation will help you. Okay, let's, let's look at the video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule and that's the birth to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept. And that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if you look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina, okay, and then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement, so I want to say I wasn't 
born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red, and I would like to color uh, the verb in green, and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be, and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this: uh, He wasn't born in Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change the subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you, and this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born. And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil, I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China, I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Okay. Let's. Do you understand? Oh, so. Okay. Look. Let's. No problem. There's two things. We need to learn one thing. A verb plus adjective. A verb, right? Let me see. Okay. A verb and an adjective adjective ah, an adjective an adjective do you know what is the difference between a verb and an adjective the verb is an action an adjective qualify a subject or, okay. or pronouns okay for example Evelyn Mariela, San Miguel is? It's hot. Beautiful, hot. Beautiful, hot. Okay, beautiful, hot. Is an adjective or a verb? An adjective. An adjective, because it describes. Okay? A verb is an action. Eat, drink, read. So, hagamos adjectives first. When I was a kid, when I was in school,
Okay. When I was in school, I was bad. What is I was bad? Malo. Malo. Yes. I was a bad boy in school. I wasn't good. Yes. Y hoy estoy sufriendo eso porque mi hijo, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 yes. my son is terrible. Like the teachers always meet su hijo. Hoy hizo esto, oh my God. I imagine my mom is happy. <laughs> <laughs> But look, you are paying. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> so listen, I was in an adjective. I was bad. I wasn't good. Do you see the difference? I was and I wasn't. Wasn't. Yes, I feel much negative. I was shy. What is shy? Okay. All right. So let me see. Um, Carmen, when you were single, the adjective is single. I was happy. <laughs> so when... Oh, you, I didn't <laughs> told it. I didn't when... told it. When I was single, yeah, oh, yellow yeah, deal. When I was single, I was <laughs> happy. <laughs> Example, right? <laughs> okay, so when I was single, I was happy. Good. Okay, now, Samuel. Yeah, sure. Samuel, tell me about high school. Did you drink water and bottle in high school? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. I used to, I used to drink water and uh, I don't know how to say muscle. <laughs> in a cup. No, but tell me, tell me cup. about, tell me when I was in high school, give me an example. Mm, I don't know what to say. I can say. I was shy when I was in high school. Okay, when I was in high school, I was shy. Good. You can say that. It's no problem. Um, Alejandra, give me an example, but in negative. When I was um, in high school, I wasn't. Uh, when I was in high school, I wasn't shy. <laughs> I wasn't shy. Very good. When I was in high school, I was a big rocker. I was a big rock fan. I had long hair. Um, paint my eyes black. Really? Oh, yeah, my hair was green, purple. Every color. <laughs> yeah, I was bad in high school. I was a good student. Do you have a picture? Yeah, I think I, I have some pictures. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you know the patch mode? The band, the patch mode, the cure. Yes. Yeah, that I, I was I like that band, so I, I painted my but now I am normal. And now I suffer with my son. Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, pero very good. Entonces ya vieron como es con adjective. I was, I wasn't. I was, I wasn't. Yes? So I yeah. was in an adjective or I wasn't in an adjective. 
Yes. Now, hagámoslo con verbo. I was born. Evelyn, were you born in La Unión? In Samir. Okay, but no, no, I, give me complete. No, I wasn't. I born. wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't born in La Unión. I was born in, in San Miguel. Unión. So answer complete, please. I wasn't born in La Unión. I was born in San Miguel. Very good. Yes, let me see. Roxana. I was. A, porque, porque no, I was. A. Lo hice a propósito para ver si se, se daba cuenta. <laughs> um, fíjense que otra cosa cuando es I was casi no hay muchos verbos que pueden ir después porque no todos los verbos puedo, pueden ser por ejemplo what happened to President Kennedy what happened to Kennedy was killed. He was killed, yes. Yes? Yes. He was killed without E.T. E. Well, he was killed, he was assassinated, he was murdered, he was everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With a okay. past form in the verb, in the yes. second verb. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. because remember, everything is past. So he mm -hmm. was killed. But mm -hmm. a kill is an adjective? No, 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 no. Now we're in verbs. <clears throat> no, kill is a verb. No, no, ya, ya, hoy ya estamos en verbos. Solo les quiero decir que se pueden usar I was en dos formas, con adjectives y con verbos. Okay. Then, se puede usar I was happy I was born. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la traducción de he was killed? Was killed. Lo asesinaron. Okay. Eso es el lo. No se puede explicar en inglés. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Qué es lo? Lo mataron. Ajá, lo mataron. Buena pregunta. Entonces, por eso es que se puede usar con verbo. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Y cuando se usa verbo, siempre tiene que ser en pasado el que yes. sigue, aunque igual ya esté en pasado. Exactly. Good question. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good question. Claro. Teacher, ¿y what happened with the past participle? When you say he was writing, he was writing a letter. No, that's not past participle. That's that's um continuous. Past continuous, continuous. Sorry, past past continuous. Okay, uh, le voy a explicar, pero no está. Cuando es un pasado continuo, a past continuous, es porque van a haber dos acciones, porque una interrumpe la otra. Example: I was sleeping when, when? you called me. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, very good. So one one action was in progress and it was interrupted by a second action. Pero lo vamos a ver eh, más adelante, so a ver. Pero remember, right now, very good question, but right now it's simple past. So he was killed. What happened to, what happened to, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. I'm sorry. Es un ejemplo y no me quiero meter en política, pero hay algo que pasó. What happened to Neto Mason? He was. He was in prison. No, he was arrested. Verbo. Uh, right. Está, right? He was arrested. Correct. Lo arrestaron. 
Ahora, si está preso y a verbo. Fue arrestado. Fue arrestado, no fue arrestado. Ok. Ok. Let me see. Um, What happened, Roxana? Yes. Do you remember? Do you remember two years ago with Calleja, Bukele, Martinez, creo que era para la FMLN? The, the presidency, the elections, remember? Yes. Who, yes. Who, who was elected? Uh, Nayib was elected. elected. Okay, good. So what happened? Oh, Nayib was elected. Yeah, yes, está. He was, y el verbo, elected. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. I get it. Yes, teacher. All right, good. Remember when, when, when almost we, we in general, in El Salvador, the culture, remember 10 years ago, Bad Bunny or reggaeton music didn't exist. We were happy. Yes, era? yes. Éramos felices y no lo sabíamos. No. We were happy. No, I'm eh, mentira. No sé, alguien ahí ya me va. We listen to old school reggaeton. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was what? Um, Dego, Dego, or oh, Big Boy. And, uh, Yo recuerdo que una vez escuché, cuando estaba más bicho, escuché el gato volador. <laughs> y, y me decía, what a stupid song. Y pensé que nada iba a ser peor que eso. Y, y wow, solo fue evolucionando eso. El taxi, que no sé qué. Hoy hasta hacen ver el gato volador. Good. Good music. <laughs> Okay, so remember, I was, I wasn't. Yes. Were you a good boy or bad boy? Good girl or bad girl? Daniel? I was a good girl. You were a good girl? All right. What about you, Daniel? Were you a good boy or bad boy? I I was some big boy. You were a good boy? Big boy. Good? Good boy? All right. Solo yo fui honesto día, I was bad. <laughs> okay, let me check. Let's do the next example. So, what is the correct? It says, which is the correct use? He was born in Spain. Julio Iglesias. He was born in Spain. He were born in Spain. Or he weren't born in Spain. The first one. The first one. He was. My parents was in France, wasn't in France, or were in France. The last oh, one. The third one. What, okay, good. It's were. What is the difference between was and were? You it's use were for other people. people. Okay, good. Was is for singulars, right? I, you, he, she. Yes. Yes. And were yes. is for the plural. Plural. Very good. Plural. All right, nice. What is grammatic? What is a grammatically correct answer to this question? 
where were you born? Pueden decir eso, where were you born? Yeah. Yes, where, because where you are you using born? you. Where were you born? No, no, pronounce. <laughs> where, 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 where were you born? Where were you born? No sé si les dije ayer que eh, la diferencia de hablar el español al inglés, que el, el, el inglés lo, lo definimos con los labios y el español lo definimos más con, con el estómago. Porque imagínense, where were you born? Si no, sin labios no podemos pronunciar eso. Where were you born? Bueno, incluso, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Traten, digan en español, labio, nadie lo puede decir. Todos lo decimos con la, si, si lo oyen bien, lo decimos con la V. Todos decimos labios. Y es con B grandes, labio. Y hasta ahí eso nos sentimos raro, que, que raro se oye, labio. Es como que en el inglés usamos, o sea, los labios, los dientes, la lengua, es un juego, híjole. Sí, el, el inglés definitivamente es, para, si lo quieren pronunciar mejor, tienen que usar los labios. Ahí sí. se define todo. Por ejemplo, a mí en inglés, cuando yo digo mi apellido, nunca me dicen B grande o B pequeña. When I say Baltrons. What is your name, David Baltrons? Pero en español sí, como, eh, sí, quiero una no, pizza de pepperoni, ¿qué es su nombre? Baltrons. B grande o B pequeña. Y yo dije Baltrons, nunca dije Baltrons. Pero en inglés se oye esa, esa diferencia. Y en español no nos importa. <risa> no. Ajá, es, vení, vení, vení. Vacación, decimos vacación con B grande. Puede que la escribamos bien, pero a la hora de pronunciar, fíjense bien como que, que mal pronunciamos. Y eso, y, y pronunciamos mal porque no usamos la, los labios. Y en inglés es, 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 es esencial. Ok, number three. Oh, so where were you born? I were born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Or I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. I was born. I was second one. The second one. My wife and I was in Mexico or were in Mexico? Where? Where? Where, where because it's plural. Okay, the English quiz a little difficult. Was or were a little difficult? Was. 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 All right, let's submit. Very good. We're okay. We're doing good. Okay, let's see how old were you when you came into the country. Okay, let's let's look at this video. Y después veamos el video, después veamos la nuestra manera. Okay, hold on. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. 
So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here, and then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc.? So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much are going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word, and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there. We're, let me write the same one there, where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Okay, let's practice. Was he, was she? But now you practice, okay? For example, Uri Ventura, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, Uri. 
Uri, please tell me, who was Freddie Mercury? Uh, he was a singer. He was a singer, very good. Was he a bad singer? Mm, not for me. So, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. All right, very good. Uh, thank you. Uri, please ask somebody. Hagamos historia hoy. <laughs> ¿Quién fue? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién, ¿Quién fue? I don't know. Who was Tesla? Oh. Or, or something. Ask ask somebody, please. Um, who was Axel Rose? ¿Quién era Axel? ¿Quién se murió? Oh. Axel no, Rose no, 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 no. died? No. no. Oh, man. I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh. Um, but Uri, Uri, okay. don't ask me. Don't ask me. Ask, ask somebody in your class. Okay. Um, Melissa Trujillo. Hi. Hi. Who was Juan Gabriel? He was a bad singer. <laughs> he was bad? <laughs> Uh, Juan Gabriel was bad. Yes, oh man! Oh. <laughs> bad. bad. He was he was the master. No. Okay. Very good. Good. I muchas. He was a bad singer. He was Mexican. Um. He was gay. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I I, I muchos adjectives. Remember. So, he was a Mexican singer he was a mexican artist he was a bad singer he was a good singer etc okay melissa your turn okay ask um, somebody except uri marvel pineda how was michael jackson who was who was Jackson? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was is a singer. Excuse me, was or is? Was is. I know was a singer. Okay, so please repeat. Michael Jackson was a singer. Okay, good, very good, thank you. Your turn, please ask somebody. Okay, vamos a reducir la cosa, hagamos historia del Salvador. Yeah, porque si no van a decir todos los artistas, no? Oh, come on, man, kid. Who, who was Hitler? Who was Ernest Hemingway? Who was Don Quixote de la Mancha? I mean, oh, many, many things. But let's say a Salvador history. Okay, go Marvel. Okay, Carlos, who was, who, who was um, Francisco Flores? Um, <clears throat> He, he was uh, ex-president of El Salvador. Of El Salvador, very good. All right, very good. Uh -huh. Your turn, Carlos, ask somebody. Pueden preguntar quién era, a dónde era, o qué era. Genaro Ramos. Who Ay. was Francisco Morazán? Eh, Francis, he was Francisco Morazán. Excuse me, ¿quién eh, es he? He. ¿Qué es he? Eh, él. él. ¿Y Francisco Morazán? 
Ah, no, tendría que ir ahí. Ajá. O okay. usamos he o usamos Francisco Morazán, pero okay. no. He. Eh, Francisco Morazán eh, was eh, ¿Cómo decir? Mártir de la patria. Good. Founding father. Founding father. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Entonces, okay. Oh, yeah. No, no more people. Now, places. Places. Por ejemplo, where was... Where was Popeye's chicken? Who remembers? Si sí, hubo Popeye's chicken in El Salvador. Do you remember where was Popeye's chicken? Where, Carlos? In, in San Salvador. Oh. Yes, but oh my, come on, where? Popeye's chicken was in San Salvador. More specific, please. And I, I don't remember that. Popeye's chicken was in Alicarajo. Yes. All right. En serio, necesito que estemos más activos porque todos están, de verdad, todos han preguntado así. Where, who was, who was, y después tiran algo. Come on, man. It's a conversation. Let's Teacher, practice. I have a question. I don't. Yes, please. Uh, who was the El Salvador president from 2014 to 2019? Oh, man. The president from 2014 to the 2019 was the great, <laughs> the great <laughs> Salvador Sanchez. The, great. the iconic Salvador Sanchez. -Seren. Y sabe que lo más irónico, yo creo que ni él supo que era presidente. Yo creo que ni él lo sabe que lo fue. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was the now Nicaraguan Sanchez Seren. All right, good. Let me see Marvel, Marvel Pineda. Hello, Marvel. Okay. Hello. No. O Maribeles. Ahí hay un error con ella, teacher. Se ha puesto Marvel también. Pero es Maribel. Ok, ¿quién es Marvel? Hay otro Marvel. Hay un Marvel y hay Marvel? un. Oh. Y hay... Hey, Marvel. Maribel Pineda. Marvel, is that, is, that, is that your name, Marvel? Really? <laughs> Oh, it's Marvel for Iron Man. No, por ningún. <laughs> Your name is really Marvel? Yeah, my name. Oh, cool. What is your name? Marvel Pineda. Repeat, please. Marvel Pineda. Ah, me lo está diciendo con B grande. Marvel. Uh, <laughs> you see? Ah, lo agarré. Your name is Marvel. Ah, uh, Marvel. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Um, oh, wow, Marvel, do you do you remember where was Beeps? In El Salvador, Beeps? No, I don't remember. Do you remember Beeps? Is it, it was uh, uh, like, uh, ice cream. Yes, it was ice cream. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, okay. I have, I have one. Y quien no la sepa, you are not Salvadorian. Where was El Mundo Feliz? 
the Mundo Feliz was in the Heroes oh, Boulevard. Good. Oh, que me hubiera dicho. I don't know. No, que no sé qué. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, um, Mundo Feliz was in, in um, eh, Boulevard de los Héroes. Eh, Alguien dijo Heroes Boulevard. Buena, pero no. Porque fíjense que irónicamente el inglés respeta mucho el nombre propio. Propio, nombre propio. Ok. Ajá, entonces. I live in Colonia Vista Hermosa. Eh, es, es una cosa que sí me gusta en inglés, de respetar, porque el español no lo respeta. Por eso, por eso en inglés el, el Salvador se llama El Salvador. Eh, en español no respetamos nada del idioma, siempre decimos. Bueno, no, no ven las noticias que dicen el príncipe... William, no, el príncipe Guillermo dicen y él no se llama Guillermo, se llama William de Inglaterra ok, yeah, so it's uh, it's in um, uh, ¿qué era? Mundo Feliz was in Boulevard de los Héroes All right. All right. All right, cool. No sé si usted ha estado en una empresa que la empresa se ha movido y uno dice, oh, es que antes estábamos en. Yes. For example, let me see. I think it's Alejandra, you work in one link. Yes. And, bef and before one link? Uh, in fact, this is my first job. Oh, it's your first job in one link. Okay, good. Yeah. Uno puede decir, in this moment, I am in Pizza Hut. I work in Pizza Hut. Un ejemplo. And before Pizza Hut, I was in Papa John's. The competition. <laughs> All right. Okay. Example, um, Evelyn, you live in Santa Tecla because you work. Where do you work, Evelyn? I work in Tiva. Tiva. What what is Tiva? It's a freight forwarder. International trade. Oh, okay. And trade before, forwarder. Oh, okay, good. And before Tiva? I work uh, for North Atlantic. Okay, good. So before I was in North Atlantic. Yes, before I was in North Atlantic. Okay, good. Carmen, where where do you work? Um, I work in Avianca, but before Avianca, I was in Confecciones Giboa. Okay, good. Is that, is that, I don't know, is that near Rio Giboa? No. Rio, the, uh, Rio Giboa is near to the airport. Yeah, it's near to the airport. Mm -hmm. What do you do in in Avianca? I am a mobility administrator. Do you see famous people? Yes, I work with an internal user user like like employees and passenger on interrupted flight. Oh, okay. A long, long time ago, I had a girlfriend, and she worked in Avianca, in the airport, in the VIP. Okay, in the, it's a, uh, in the airport, yes. Yes. Okay. And I remember she called me, me said, ¿Sabe quién está aquí? ¿Quién? Bruce Willis. Yes, what's it? What really, Bruce Willis? And yes, but not in El Salvador. He was only in the lobby because he was going to Chile or something. Yeah. Wow. Cool. He was on con in connection only. Yes. yes. Hey, and a lot of, of artists, artists. Yeah. I said, "Oh my God, ask for an autograph." No, but they can't. <laughs> All right. Okay, class, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Okay. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I was con adjective and I was con verb. Verbos, okay? Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. okay, good night. Bye, good night.